guys check it out real quick not feeling my best but i just wanted to give you guys this exercise really quick you can probably tell in my voice but um yeah hopefully this will be over soon all right guys so this exercise can actually be split up into several different exercises depending on how you play it or where you start it so let me show you i want to focus more on the fretting hand and the picking hand and not so much the notes with this exercise because you can move it up and down the fretboard or wherever you would like so with this exercise, you're going to descend and then ascend, all right? We're going to be t using triplets, so descending, ascend. Okay, so we're going down using the second fret, G, D string, A string, a half step above that, starting on C, F, B flat. Okay, so you got it? That's really all it is, and we're just repeating that same formula. Okay, so you see I'm using all of my fingers, all four of my fingers. So one finger goes with one fret, the next finger goes with the next fret, the third finger goes with the next, and then the fourth finger goes with that one. So the tricky thing about this exercise is that you have to kind of rock your fingers against the fretboard in order to get those notes out clean and clear. So with this, like I said, it can be split up into several different exercises because I'm descending this first. You can ascend it, you can start it ascending the same way. Okay, so first, what I want you guys to get is just with one finger. Just use one finger to do this whole entire exercise at first. So I'm gonna do, so we're gonna rake, use our raking technique here. So through the string, one, one, one. And we're gonna climb back up with one, two, one, right? I'm gonna repeat the same exact thing with one finger here. So we're only gonna use our fourth, our first finger. Okay, so do that up until the 12th fret. And you'll see how difficult it is to get these notes out clean. And you can actually let these notes ring. I usually wouldn't prefer that you guys do that. But with this uh, particular exercise, you can go ahead and let these notes ring. So we're not playing them staccato with spaces in between them. You can use that as an exercise, but for this particular one that I'm showing you, just go ahead and let the string, uh, let the notes ring. Okay, so very basic exercise. It doesn't really sound like a melodic lick or a melodic line. Uh, it's really literally just an exercise for dexterity with your picking hand. Okay, so you rake, 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 one, two, one, two, rake, 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 one, two, one, two. And if you descend, it's gonna be the, the opposite. So we have three different ways we can do this exercise. We did it with one finger first. With half steps, ascending and descending. And then we did um, uh, with all four fingers. Second finger, third finger. Ascending, descending, just alternating between the two. And then remember guys, take this exercise and run with it. You can ascend first the completely opposite right the complete opposite not the completely opposite but anyway you guys get the idea okay so we have three different exercises or even the one that i did in the beginning the one to the four one to the four move that up half steps and, uh, and half step increments all right so the way that you account this off is one two, two. That's the way that you would count this off. It's actually really simple. Take it slow. You don't have to go at that speed. Once you get comfortable with it, then you can go ahead and speed that up. Like I tell you guys all the time, use a metronome with this, please, 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 so you can track your progress. Okay, so make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. If you have questions about that, like that rowing, that rocking motion, or if you have trouble getting those notes to ring out, write in the comments below. If you have any other questions, write in the comments below. Um, make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise, if I didn't say that already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.